Hey y'all, uh, this is just going to be a quick intro to using some of the sysinternals tools for malware analysis. I'll start with using strings, then we'll look at uh, procmon and proc explorer and really quick auto runs. So I'm going to start by opening up a command prompt. And in this case, we're just uh, analyzing a, a simple Trojan. So we'll start by using strings. We have strings in our tools directory, CD desktop, tools, sysinternals, strings. And generally, you want to run it first just so you can agree to this license. So then we'll run it again, we'll run sample, and then I like to output it to a file uh, to make it easier to, for analysis. So we can open up that file, and right away we'll see that there's going to be a lot of noise in here, a lot of really short strings that we're not going to be interested in. So let's go ahead and run it again, and we'll provide this uh, dash n argument, and we'll just use 5 for now. So you see that cuts out a lot of our strings, uh, something that we can look at fairly quickly. Uh, in this case, we see some of the uh, imports. And then down to the bottom, you see a lot of descriptions about the file. Uh, things to look for would be uh, anything that says uh, .exe, uh, something that looks like a registry key, uh, maybe um, you know, functions in here are, are imports that aren't also in your imports table. All right, so moving on, I will browse to the actual sysinternals folder we have. And then I'm going to open up Proc Explorer and Procmon. So I'm going to run these both as administrator. So Proc Explorer will give you an overview of all the processes that are running uh, in their hierarchy, uh, as well as a lot more information that you can look at. So the next I'm going to open up Procmon, again, as an administrative user. And Procmon is going to give you all the access to uh, the events that are happening in Windows, as well as the ability to filter them. So now that these are running, I'm going to go ahead and start the malware. And in this case, I'm going to run it as administrator. It's important to note that depending on the user privilege, sometimes malware will act different. So we'll just click Run as Admin. Right, you can see some colors changing on our, sys, our Proc Explorer. Uh, There's going to be some processes that are created, and then processes that have died. So we'll go ahead and, and jump back over to uh, Process Monitor, and we'll come back to Process Explorer uh, afterwards. So right now, this is showing 63,000 events, obviously way too many to look at. So we can start by filtering. A basic starting point is just filtering on the process name that you ran. So we'll go to filter, uh, we'll select this first tag and we'll select process name. We'll say process name is then we'll just enter the name of the executable. So that's sample.exe. So to get this to take effect, we have to add it. We add it to this table down here, and then we have to click Apply. So after doing that, you can see in Process Monitor, uh, we're down to uh, 2,600 events. So when you're creating filters, uh, this is something I encourage you to explore with, uh, it's good to note that just by uh, unchecking this 
box over here, you can change what is actually active and then clicking apply rather than actually removing the whole line. So 2600 uh, events is still quite a lot. So a another good filter, which is uh, a good starting point is to look at the category. We do category is right. And this will actually filter down on events that have actually written something, changed the system. So this could be a file write, it could be a registry write. So we add that and we apply that. And then we can see the events went down to 18, which is a lot, something that's a lot easier to look through. So we can see this first one, actually these first two are creating and writing a file. And then right below that, you know, we have a registry key being set. And if you look at that key name, this is actually the current control set services, which is where you're defining new services. Uh, so if we, we start with this first one, the create file and write file, if we right click on this, you can then select jump to, and that'll open up the relevant artifact. Uh, so in this case, it will open up uh, Explorer, and you can see this exe that was created. So whenever something is dropped to disk, uh, it's, it's good to start with taking a hash of it. Um, a lot of cases, uh, malware will actually just copy itself somewhere else, which by comparing the hashes, uh, you can see is what this particular malware did. And then you know that you don't have to actually go and analyze that file again because you're already analyzing it. So the second thing that I pointed out was this registry set. So you can do something very similar, right select on it and click jump to. And this will open up registry, uh, registry editor. So here you can see uh, what has happened has, uh, this malware has actually created itself a service uh, called you know, this, whatever this is, and actually reference that file that we just saw was dropped to disk. So now it's installed itself on the machine, it's established persistence, so on a reboot, it'll start back up. So obviously there's a lot more capability with Process Explorer, uh, depending on what you're doing with the filters. Uh, you know, from here you might change a process name and look at this new process that has been started and see what it has done. Uh, so looking back at Process Explorer, we can see, you know, we started with sample, but now what's running is that uh, BWZZ file. Uh, you can right click on the process and you can select uh, properties is a, a good starting point. And this will show you where it's running from, right? So it's running in that C windows. Uh, it'll also show you what, it, what its parent is. So this is a service that's being run. And there's a lot of, a lot more information you can get in here. Uh, just by playing around through with it. Uh, so finally, I wanted to show you auto runs. So auto runs is another sys internals tool. It will show you things that are set to start up. Uh, so it's a, it's a good way of finding persistence. Uh, the current up to date sys internals will find a lot a lot of methods are always adding new detection techniques. Again, we started it as administrator. And the first window will, will basically be everything that it can find. Uh, there's probably things you'll notice in here that you're familiar with and things that you aren't familiar with. Uh, so we saw that it was installed as a service. And indeed, if we click on services, we can see that that, uh, that thing is right here, that file is right here. And again, you can right click on it and jump to entry or jump to image, and it will open up uh, a C a Windows Explorer. Uh, if you were connected to the internet, you can actually get a virus total uh, score from right here. Uh, one other thing I wanted to point out, uh, and this is relevant especially with things like scheduled tasks, is that you can filter based on user. 
So if you have something that is installed as a system user versus a, uh, say, the current user, you might want to play with this user tab up here to change it. Okay, and that's all I wanted to show. Thanks.